What is the most disrespectful thing one of your guests has done in your home? A guest threw away my new loofah, soaps and shampoos. I told her those were my thing, and asked why she threw them away. She had no explanation. I said I use all of those things. To make it worse she answered well how was I supposed to know? I was speechless. She's no longer welcome to visit. Some background before the awful listed in bullets below. We once had a house sitter, because we were going to be gone for 6 weeks in a row. The house sitter was the mom of my dad's cow so an unknown person, but still not a complete rando. I remember her being like 80, but I was 11, e14, so more likely she was early 60s. She had no driver's license, because the government was going to use it to track her. She was extremely religious. Oddly enough my room was not a shade, so anytime I say everything in the house, that room is excluded. This was in the summer of back quote 98, e 2001, so I know I'm forgetting things. Now on to the fun stuff in no particular order. She moved all the furniture in the house, except my parents bed. Couches, dresses, stereo setup, everything. She took it upon herself to clean my sister's Doc Martens by washing them in the laundry. All 30 ish pairs. My sister had a job in high school to pay for gas and shoes, and she frequently needed to borrow gas money. She rehung every picture in the house. She used she truck mails to do so. My mom had a sewing business. She took all sorts of cloth from it and cut it into randomly sized pieces which she then used to cover all the lampshades in the house. She did this by using packing tape, ruining the cloth, lampshades, and causing a fire hazard all at once. She also put lamp oil on every bulb in the house. We had to replace every single bulb because our house smelled like old lady. She took all the over-the-counter medications out of the boxes and put all the blister packs in a gallon Ziploc bag. That way you got to guess at medication and dosing instructions. Always a fun hobby. On the bookshelf our family bible, which I didn't know existed, was standing front and center with some space cleared around it. Hanging over a banister in direct sun was my great grandma's handmade quilt. You should pay whoever made this more respect she told my mom. My mom was respecting it by keeping it preserved. There was a new crack in the windshield of my dad's company car. The car he could get fired if anyone else drove and we never rode in because it was for work. Again, she didn't have a driver's license. We went through the garbage bags looking for missing bank statements and the like my parents knew had been on the desk. Thankfully we didn't have trash pickup service, so that was all just in the garage still. While going through the bags we discovered how there was bible space. All obvious fantasy books had been thrown out, especially things like interview with a vampire. Thank god she didn't touch my room, because I had almost exclusively fantasy books at that point in my life. In the fall my mom went to bake something with marshmallows. She knew she had some couldn't find them, and just got some more at the store. A year or two later we finally got through this big ziplock of hot cocoa, and opened a box of Costco cocoa, that my mom must have picked up thinking we were out. The crazy bitch had opened the back of the cocoa box, put the cocoa in a bag, and stuffed the marimallows in an apparently closed box of cocoa. Going back to taking care of old things. My mom has this really old wood jewelry box. Again some kind of heirloom. It was a little grimy, but she never wanted to do anything to it, because she had no idea what kind of lacquer was used. Crazy hosed it off on jet setting, there were divots in the wood, and the water ended up bleaching the box white. One of the showers had a huge crack that wasn't there before we left, and everything in the bathroom drawers and closets was rearranged. She rearranged my dad's tool bench, and those are all I can think of. My parents moved out of that house like 5 years ago, and they found some shit they thought was lost that they're pretty sure she moved. Listing it out makes me realize I wish I had half the energy this lady did, because in 6 weeks time I'm not sure I would have been able to do everything she did by myself. Wife's close friend, at the time, tried to sleep with me. This failed for a number of reasons, including happily married and never would have gone for it anyway. She was drunk, and didn't realize there were still people in our living room. Drunk people don't sneak well, and naked drunk people who are expecting to sneak into a bedroom and instead find themselves in a room full of people don't lie well. 
my piece of shit uncle was angry that he fucked up his marriage so had to spend Christmas at our house. My parents invited him to be nice, and I agreed to let him sleep in my room and I bunked with my sister. He chewed up a bunch of gum and stuck my photo frames to my windowsill with it. Most entitled, wankiest prick I ever had the displeasure of knowing. Glad he's out of my life. A friend of mine's 5 year old son plugged my toilet, then him and his wife just sat at the table, while I cleaned all of the water up off of the floor, and unplugged the toilet. Then they laughed about it, when I finally got back to the table. So, it wasn't actually my house, but my coworker's house. She had this big get together, and invited about 20 people from our office. We had this one chick, about 33 at the time, who was just a little, off, only child, very selfish, didn't play well w slash others, or do anything outside work except crossfit, and try to push mlm crap on us. She decided it was a good idea, to bring her 4 horribly behaved huskies w slash her to this relatively big party. They are jumping all over everyone, and just generally being a nuisance. So the host asks her to please put them inside. She agrees and puts them in the bathroom. An hour or so later, they go check on the dogs. They've torn up the baseboards of the sink, tried clawing through the door and even the wooden base wall paneling. Of course there was poop and pee everywhere as well. The host is exasperated, but this chick is just like yeah, they do that sometimes. Oh well, I'm gonna head out. It was awkward because the host, her supervisor at work, really felt like she should pay for it, but the odd chick was like, you're the one who invited me, yeah, you, not you and your dogs. So glad I wasn't her supervisor. We have an area on the kitchen counter where we keep fruit and treats. Every time a clueless friend, Aish, of my mom comes over she just helps herself to whatever is there. She doesn't even ask. She also helps herself to drinks in the fridge. It's gotten to the point where we don't answer the door. However, if the door is unlocked she just comes right in. She's even gone to the back deck and knocked on the sliding glass doors. She's the bane of our existence. A neighboring auntie came to visit our home one fine afternoon. While she was busy having a nice talk with my mum, I brought them some fruits. To eat she then took out one lychee peeled it and just threw them in the carpet and along with that she just spat the seed on the floor wtf me and my mum were just shocked mayo. After few minimums as she was about to leave she went to the washroom so without my mum knowing I put all those fruit skins and seeds inside her bag. Wife and I had a couple over. Nice woman. Shit bag guy. The guy ended up passing out drunk, then woke up, and started trying to choke the woman. I had to put him in a chocker hold to get him to stop. It really brought down the mood of the foursome. I had left some money that I owed my roommate in her room and closed the door because she wasn't home. I had a couple friends over and one of them decided to not only go in my roommate's closed room while I was elsewhere, but took the money. I knew he did it the moment my roommate asked where the cash was. Suffice it to say, he stopped getting invited over shortly thereafter. Not me but my co-worker. Her daughter is highly religious and very innocent. Co-worker son's girlfriend came into the daughter's house as a guest and found her graduation cap where it was drying after being decorated for the next day. She proceeded to draw tons of dicks on it and completely ruined the cap. When asked why she said it's a joke. Calm down. She had to borrow her brother's plain cap for graduation. Well, invited a guy to my home country for his winter break, let him stay at home, and take him to several places. We even had sex in the day, before he leaves he told me that I was too fat to be loved by someone, I wasn't looking for anything with him, and that he wanted me to talk good about him with my cousin, so he can continue flirting with her. My 8 year old nephew once clogged my toilet with the biggest mountain of toilet paper I've ever seen and wiped shit all over the toilet, counter, sink, and hand towel. The kid never had this problem since his potty training days some years back, so he had no reason to leave my bathroom in that condition. Piss me right off. My mill would wreck anything nice. I know it was intentional because it would defy logic and she'd do things in my home that she'd never do in hers. I had a million coasters, she refused to use any of them. She was the coaster queen at her home. 
she threw wet towels over my new shower curtain to dry instead of on one of the million towel hooks in the bathroom and back of the guest room door. She'd walk across my kitchen to grab my fancy, embroidered decorative white kitchen towels to mop up black coffee and chocolate frosting instead of the paper towels 3 inches from the mess or dish towels 5 inches away. She reorganized my kitchen and told me my way was wrong. Mill and Phil never flushed the toilet and smoked and drank black coffee the whole time. I loved waking up to that smell and floating coffee shits in the toilet. She told me my Battenberg lace duvet cover was too fancy, then made sure she hooked a toe in it and tore it wide open so I couldn't repair it. It had to be deliberate. Don't even get me started on how she just had to tell me how to improve every single from scratch item I baked and cooked instead of thanking me or complimenting me 